What's going on, YouTube? I'm Egar Reds, and I am back again with y'all with another edition of joshing around what's up so if this is your first time tuning into my channel welcome i do a lot of reviews of my personal collection things that i collect basically a lot of jerseys a lot of sneakers a lot of hats you know a lot of collectibles just that whole shebang man your boys dabbling with i love to share with you guys on my channel so if you're a fan of the channel so far please consider subscribing to it leave a like on this video ring that bell notification as well as soon as i post something you'll be notified immediately so in this episode i wanted to share two jerseys from my personal jersey collection and honestly i've been wearing these jerseys a lot lately I think because they feel like summer s type jerseys for me definitely have the summer vibes going on with the colors and just the overall jersey style so without further ado I present to you guys this jersey right here this is the champion authentic right here Charlotte Hornets Baron Davis rookie authentic jersey and then I have on my second jersey I want to share with you guys which is the New Orleans Hornets Nike swingman Baron Davis jersey Today we're featuring my man, Boom Dizzle, B Diddy, and the original beard. Baron Walter Lewis Davis was born on April 13th, 1979 in Los Angeles, California. He grew up most of his life in the South Central area. Baron Davis also attended UCLA and was drafted in the 1999's NBA draft as the third pick by the Charlotte Hornets. Baron Davis was known for his speed, quickness, and explosiveness on the court. During his NBA debut game against the Orlando Magic, Baron Davis and the Charlotte Hornets won with 100. 86 final score. Davis scored nine points, five rebounds, two assists, and two steals. During his rookie season for the Hornets, Baron Davis helped back up veteran teammates Eddie Jones and David Wesley. For an amazing first season, the Charlotte Hornets made it to the playoffs but lost by the 76ers in four games. Despite the swift defeat from the last season, this did not stop the Charlotte Hornets and Baron Davis. As a matter of fact, the following year, Baron Davis improved all around as his stats increased as he got to play more minutes. The next season, Baron Davis and the Hornets swept the Miami Heat this season, but later fell short to Ray Allen and the Milwaukee Bucks in the second round. While playing for the Hornets organization, Davis did some amazing things and broke some records. As a matter of fact, he still holds to this day in the NBA the record for the longest NBA shot, which was an 89 footer with 0.7 seconds in a third quarter game. Fast forward to the year 2002, the Charlotte Hornets relocated to New Orleans, which changed their name to the New Orleans Hornets. During this time of Baron Davis's career, it began to be a little rocky. He suffered multiple injuries during this time. But Despite all the injuries, Baron Davis and the Hornets still managed to make it to the playoffs, but eventually lost to Allen Iverson in the 76ers. Due to the multiple injuries and losses that the Hornets faced over the years, Baron Davis got traded to the Golden State Warriors, and the Hornets did not make it to the playoffs for three straight years after that. But all the accolades and amazing memories that Baron Davis created with the Hornets organization will never go unnoticed. So both of these jerseys, guys, are super fire in my humble opinion. Plus, I'm very biased because I'm a huge Baron Davis fan. Fan. I grew up as a huge Baron Davis fan as a kid, you know, and of course him playing for my favorite basketball team, the Golden State Warriors, you know, during that We Believe era, which is my favorite era growing up as a Warriors fan, you know, so I'm I'm biased, man. I'm sorry. But not to take anything away from Baron Davis and his jerseys, you know, the jerseys and teams that he played for had some super dope styles when he was playing in the NBA, you know, so why don't I start off with his rookie jersey right here. So as I mentioned, guys, this is made by Champion, and this is a very vintage brand. As you could see right there, there is the jock tag. You have two jock tags, actually. You have a Champion jock tag on the left, and then you have a Champion jock tag on the right. But just to kind of read it for you guys, on the top has a champion wood marking it says designed exclusively for the athletes of the nba and then you have the jerry west logo right there and you have an authentics wood marking just kind of surrounding the front of that nba logo then on the other jock tag guys you have the champion wood marking with that big c and then also the wood marking on the bottom of it now on the right side it says it takes a little more to make a champion this is a size 52 so just a heads up guys size 52 for the champion authentics is equivalent to a double xl also i want to talk about the sizing for champion jerseys guys so there is a reason why i don't own that many champion jerseys in my personal collection collection you know one of them being that they're really hard to find they're really rare um you know to find in great condition because i see a lot of like the screen print jerseys that are like super faded and also the sizing for the champions they just run really really small for me you know so a 2x would probably be my go-to size for the champion stuff because you know a lot of the older champion jerseys came out way back like in the 90s so the sizing and the fits of those jerseys were much smaller than today's standards you know i know with Nike and stuff today a lot of the, the jerseys a lot of people say you know you want to go size up and stuff but these vintage jerseys guys they fit a lot smaller than 
my liking. So if I had to compare the sizing, I would say that this double X right here, the size 52 would be equivalent to like a 48 for like the Reebok and early Adidas authentic jerseys, you know? So this was before the Rev 30 era. You know, I don't know, I don't own a 48, so I can't try it on, but based on this one and how it fits me, you know, I say that this would fit probably like an extra large for the Reebok and Adidas stuff. But you have this really nice aqua color that is just surrounding the entire front and back of the jersey. And you also have like hints of those like pinstripes right there, those double pinstripes as you can see just surrounding it. And also on the side panel of the jersey, you have the sublimated design right there as well with that purple and it's kind of like a like a light bluish color and then the white and then just like overall it's a beautiful summer jersey the charlotte on the front of the jersey is double stitched guys you can see right there you have that outer layer of that blue it looks like a royal blue outer stitching layer and then you have the white stitching that is across the front along with baron davis is number one on the front that is double stitch as well this jersey is a little bit more on the u size guys there's actually parts of the jersey where the stitching is kind of going undone so i might have to get some work done on this jersey but you know considering its age and how vintage this jersey is it's totally understandable on the upper left chest portion of the jersey you have an embroidered nba logo right there then on the neck trim of the jersey you have that teal purple and blue trim right there followed by that same design on the armholes of the jersey looking at the neck tag of the jersey you have the champion wood markings has double extra large authentic athletic apparel made in korea working my way on the back of the jersey you have baron davis's name that is double stitched right there with that blue and white along with his number one that is also double stitched this is a beautiful jersey guys considering its age you know it definitely does not look brand new but it's still in pretty good condition i'd say for its age so this one right here guys is the new orleans hornets jersey of baron davis as you can see this is the swingman jersey so there is slight differences with the quality but it's a pretty good quality jersey i'd say for a swingman not like the newer nike stuff where it's like heat applied graphics this stuff is actually single stitched on which is not bad also i want to give a huge shout out to the folks over at rare wear attire who are based out of pittsburgh california for hooking me up with this jersey right here guys definitely check out their website they sell a lot of good vintage merch and just sportswear apparel guys also if you go on their website right now and you type in the code res sent me you could get 10 percent off your entire order definitely utilize that code guys because you don't want to miss it the code is only valid until the end of the month so in honor of the nba finals right now guys utilize the code and tell them that res sent you you have an embroidered nba logo right there on the top left portion right under the nba logo you have an embroidered nike swoosh in that white looking at the trim of the jersey you have this purple and gold like yellowish trim and then you have that nice little emblem of the h right there which stands for the hornets the front of the jersey you have the new orleans right there that is single stitch with baron davis's number one when he played for the hornets now one of the downsides of swingman jerseys is that there will be fading when you wash it depending on how you care for the jersey so obviously this jersey is not brand new guys you could see right here there is some stitching that is kind of loose and then as you could see right here on the r portion the little hole and then also on the a you could see that this teal portion that i'm kind of rubbing my hand fingers against right here this is actually printed so as you can see the aqua portion of the jersey is starting to fade because it was printed onto the jersey and it's not of the actual fabric so you know just to give you guys a heads up you know if you are getting swingman jerseys just be prepared for some fading to happen when you throw it in the wash you know but again depending on how you care for your jerseys you know if you dry clean your jerseys your jerseys will last you longer or even if you hand wash your jerseys you know so i highly would not recommend throwing your swingman jerseys or just any jerseys in general in a dryer because that will ruin the jersey the front and back of the jersey as you can see it has that beautiful polyester mesh with that aqua teal color on the side panel of the jersey you have the white purple and gold which is a different trim fabric that they use than the actual jersey itself on the back of the jersey you have baron davis's name that is single stitched in that white and then you also have his infamous number one that is single stitched as well looking at the neck tag of the jersey as you can see it is made in korea now since this is the swingman jersey guys you know it is going to be single stitched and not triple stitched on the numbers and double stitched on the letters you know because obviously now nike nothing for the swingman line is stitched to my knowledge you know it's all heat applied graphics so obviously that single stitch feature that they added on the older swingmans is obviously much more higher quality than the current swingmans that nike is producing today overall my final thoughts on both of these jerseys i like them i always was a fan of the hornets jerseys i love that teal color it just pops so much it's definitely different from a lot of other teams 
you know in the nba with this nice scheme right here but share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know guys which jersey you like more are you guys fans of this style of the new orleans hornets or did you like the charlotte hornets jerseys um from baron davis's rookie season i'd love to hear what you guys think also let me know what you guys think about baron davis were you guys big fans of baron davis as well and if so which team did you enjoy him playing for the most i mean i'm gonna be biased because i loved him when he was with the warriors but yo he did some crazy things also with the hornets leave a like on the video share the video as well and of course you already know guys i appreciate all the continued support on my channel Whew. all right guys i'm gonna head on out of here it's getting real hot in this room right now so i'll see y'all on the next video all right your boy rez is out peace